just a disclaimer over here this is one tip that i don't think enough people talk about i don't know why and it really truly is a game changer the reason i'm asking you to opt for a matte finish one and not a dewy finish one just feeling happy about the way you feel when you wear your makeup <laughs> Welcome to today's video. Today's video is one that I think I have gotten requested so many, so many, many times. I've done variations of this video in different tips and tricks over the years, but I don't think I've ever done a sit down video dedicated to how to make your makeup last longer, especially in the summer. For context, I live in Mumbai, India, and it is one of the most humid, hot, tropical places to live in especially here on this subcontinent and in this country i feel like uh, makeup doesn't last very long for people who don't do specific things and in today's video i aim to give you a couple of very simple extremely doable tips uh, that will really change the way you look at makeup and your makeup game at large i don't want to make this intro any longer let's dive right into it First things first, hopefully all of us are applying moisturizer before we start applying any amount of makeup. Whether you're just a concealer, spot conceal kind of girl, or whether you're a full beat glam foundation kind of girl, it doesn't matter. I really do hope you're applying a moisturizer and prepping your face before you're going ahead and applying any amount of makeup. Now the thing with moisturizers, especially when it comes to a dry skin girl like me, is we tend to choose things that are richer and creamier. But when it comes to summer, I will recommend that you go ahead and try gel based moisturizers why you stick to your richer creamer ones for your night routine i do think that applying a gel based moisturizer before you dive into your makeup is something that will just help not give you that any amount of chip chip greasy wally feeling i do know that some of us are just more comfortable with the creamier textures i know i am but just a disclaimer over here when you apply a gel based one it just has a better compatibility with of course humidity and sweat and things like that in general but it won't the product itself won't sweat and go into your pores and make you feel uneasy this is one tip that i don't think enough people talk about i don't know why and it really truly is a game changer once you do this, you will surely see that the way your makeup sits on your face and lasts on your face goes a lot, lot, lot longer. I feel like what I'm about to say next is an absolute no-brainer. Uh, and even though it's not a make your makeup last longer thing, I feel like I need to throw it in, especially because we're talking about summer. Although I really hope you're wearing this through summer, winter, monsoons, everything and all of it. A good sunscreen. I want to take a quick minute and talk about today's video's sponsor and tell you what this new sunscreen is that I've been using because I've been loving it. And we're going to come back into this list immediately after. Today I'm using the Aqualogica D10 Plus Dewy Sunscreen. This comes enriched with cherry tomato which protects us from sun damage and naturally provides a healthy glow. It really does act as a skin rejuvenator. It also comes enriched with hyaluronic acid, an ingredient you know I love absolutely so much. This is fragrance-free, color-free and comes with SPF 50. PA4 pluses. Yes, you heard that right. SPF 50, PA++++ and UVA, B and blue light protection. This is such a nice hydrating lightweight formula. It feels gel-like so really perfect for summer. I love the fact that it leaves no white cast and has absolutely zero levels of tackiness and stickiness. Major props for the fact that it is absolutely fragrance-free despite all of these amazing ingredients in them because that can be something that irks me from time to time. Reminder to make sure you apply your SPF on your face and neck and reapply every six hours. That is a habit I'm working on myself as well. Go ahead and use the code ANAM2023 for a special discount. I am leaving the product linked down below in the info box in case you want to get your hands on it right away, which I do highly recommend. Even with the sunscreen recommendation I'm giving you today, you'll see that I've switched over to a gel-based one because creamier, moisturizer-based ones may or may not give you that sweaty feeling. And again, please take everything I'm saying from the point of view that I have dry skin, but I'm trying to be as all-inclusive to skin types as I possibly can be. The next tip I'm going to give you is about your foundation. Now, if you are someone who absolutely skips the foundation, you can consider this for concealers. A lot of my girlfriends in my close personal circle don't wear foundation regularly. Hell, on days when I'm, you know, not shooting, even I skip foundations so often. But a nice concealer is something we all reach for. I am going to ask you to switch over from dewy finished foundations and concealers to matte concealers and foundations 
just for the summer. Okay, one sec. Before I get into this even more, I will give you a tip on how to turn it into dewy and still make it last long. But my, you know, kind of suggestion is that the formula you choose, have it not be a dewy finish one, have it be a matte finish one. And like I said, I'll tell you how to make it dewy in just a couple of minutes. The reason I'm asking you to opt for a matte finish one and not a dewy finish one is that even though we all love that radiant dewy finish that certain products have, the fact of the matter is, is that the way they are built is that they're not completely, what's the word for it? heat proof for lack of any other way of putting it there is a much likelier chance of a dewy product shifting on your face and moving on your face than a matte finish one a couple of recommendations i'm going to go ahead and give you is for example the lacme 9 to 5 foundation absolutely beautiful the l'oreal paris infallible concealer beautiful huda's four filter concealer for that matter something that i discovered only a few months ago Oh my god, it has become just my absolute favorite. What I'm wearing today is Rare Beauty. So if you're traveling anytime out of India or hopefully Rare Beauty comes into India sometime soon, that's another one I would highly, highly, highly recommend. Since we're talking about matte formulas over dewy formulas, let me also quickly tell you that maybe you should make a similar choice when it comes to your blushes and contours. Now, don't get me wrong. I love the radiance of a creamy blush. Mind you, I think it's stunning. I personally don't think cream uh, based blushes are as beginner friendly just because they can be a little bit messy if you don't know how to work with them. Having said that, I do think that the dewy glow from within vibe, very wearing makeup, not wearing makeup, is a skin just like that kind of vibe. I love it. But like I said, dewy finished products, unfortunately, will sweat more easily than matte products. I'm going to give you a hack on how to go ahead and make that dewy. Now is the time. I really hope that you guys are setting your products down. You could be setting your products down with the help of a loose powder, a compact powder. My absolute go-to for daily wear, and I'm not saying this because Verified is my brand. I'm saying this very objectively and why I, you know, kind of worked on this formula and why I went for this specific formula and product. The airbrush powder, the IRL Paris filter airbrush powder. It is one of the products we have at Verified and you get it in both loose as well as compact format. And uh, what I love about it is that it really, truly blurs your pores, mattifies your face. But even as a dry skin girl, because I'm so iffy about the compact products I use, um, actually, it is literally the only compact product I use. And loose powder, I also will recommend a couple of high-end ones to you um, and a couple of drugstore ones to you, actually. But what I'm getting to is that it gives you that seamless finish on your skin. It blurs your pores. It gives you that velvety matte, very luxurious finish. Um, it comes with a puff, so it's super super easy to use um where, where i'm getting to with this is that if you are looking at making it dewy you can always 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 opt for a dewy finish setting spray um i have the benefit professional super setter over here i have the dreamy mist lavender from pixie over here uh really nice just products to spray on your face and have your makeup last longer the makeup fixing mist this one has rose water in it, also from Pixie. You could look at the classic MAC one that I have sitting over here. I feel like these are all really, really fantastic products. And if you are someone that is absolutely hell-bent on a dewy look, which I know I can be on some days, I will go ahead and mattify my makeup look with like setting it down um, and things like that. And then I will go ahead and spritz it with a dewy spray. One spray that I don't have over here because it's over. And I want to definitely mention and I will link and tag all of the products is the NYX Dewy Finish Setting Spray. Oh my god, I love that product. But I have to be honest, my way of getting the dewy finish is to either A, take matte products and then with the spray make everything dewy or B, use dewy products which I don't naturally, I don't tend to, you know, intuitively reach for just because I know they don't do well with our weather. Then I mattify them and then I make them dewy again with the setting spray, which to be honest is just a whole lot of effort. I am a very uh, blush powder kind of a girl. I am someone that likes that matte finish, which lasts really, really longer, uh, much longer as compared to dewy finish. But of course, I'm leaving that option out there on how you can convert most of your matte looks, matte finish makeup looks into a dewy finish one um i feel like those are some of the ways in which my makeup lasts really really long especially in the summer one step that i have missed out on mentioning through the course of this video is using a really good primer the only gray area i think with 
primers in general is that people don't necessarily use it on the daily i understand that i'm a beauty enthusiast and this is pretty much my job obviously so i reach for primers very very often however if you don't i completely understand that i am going to leave that as a tip in case you are someone that wears foundation every day that that is truly a step that can make a very big difference in the way your makeup sits and lasts and goes through the day i am going to leave a whole lot of recommendations down below i am going to leave a lot of links down below um i want you guys to know that having your makeup last longer with these few tweaks in terms of steps or the way you apply your makeup techniques wise and things like that can really truly be a game changer even if you're not a hardcore beauty enthusiast right now just feeling happy about the way you feel when you wear your makeup is so important and if you know trying one or two of these things can help you with that i will consider my job well done and with that we come to the end of today's video today's wear fam comment shout out goes to prithusha thank you so much for always talking to me down below in the comments please hit like on this video because it helps your girl out with the algorithm and use the hashtag wefam in your comments so i can possibly give you the next wefam comment shout out in one of my upcoming videos i love you very very much i will see you in the next one Mwah.